I'm Liana Darbashian, and you're watching the news broadcast on the state television company of Western Armenia. Today's broadcast. The roads of Mush, Western Armenia are closed. 40,000 Artsakh residents left without shelter due to war. Ombudsman of Artsakh. A rock cut water pipe, the largest in the region, was found in Tigran Aged. Terrorists and the Turkish military have destroyed the historical and cultural heritage of Syria. Iran should have supported Armenia during the Artsakh War. Member of Parliament of Iran, Mahmoud Ahmadi Bigash. Legendary football player Arkady Andreasian has passed away. Roads closed due to snow in Mush province of western Armenia are open to vehicles. Roads in 19 villages were closed due to heavy snowfall. Rescue squads are working hard in order to clear roads of villages that were close to traffic. The fog caused some problems for rescue squads. Team of 64 construction vehicles are struggling against the snow in order to not get any victims or injured citizens. According to the calculations of the Office of Ombudsman of Artsakh, up to 40,000 residents of Artsakh have been left without shelters due to the recent war unleashed by Azerbaijan. As reported by Armen Press, Ombudsman Artak Beglaryan said at a press conference on December 22. According to our calculations, up to 40,000 people have been left without shelters only due to the military operations on the occupation of territories due to the political agreement. Most of these people have already returned to Artsakh. Beglarian stated that the issue of temporary shelters should be solved for these people at first. As a result of years of excavations in Tigran Agert of Artsakh, the Armenian expedition team discovered the large rock-cut water pipeline, which is the most powerful in the region. Armenian archaeologists fear that the Azerbaijani side will attempt to humiliate their work done in Tigran Agert, which is now under the Azerbaijani control and will consider the water pipeline as Afghan distorting history by that. During a conversation with Armen Press, Pavel Avetisyan, director of the Institute of Archaeology and Ethnography, said that Armenia will face problems as long as it lives next to Azerbaijan. Referring to the excavations in Tigran Agert, he said that they have been working in five different places in 2020 and added, as a result of the huge work done, a rocky water pipe was opened in Tigran Agert. We have large canals and water pipes in the Ararat Valley, but what we witnessed in Artsakh has no precedent. Turkish troops have been robbing cultural sites along with the militants from terrorist groups in Syria, Syrian Arab News Agency reports. In 2018 to 2019, with the framework of Source of Peace and Olive Branch operations, the territories in the north of the Arab Republic were occupied by the Turkish armed forces. As a result, control of the territories has passed into the hands of militants controlled by Ankara. Pro-Turkish militaries have been repeatedly noticed in the destruction of cultural sites. According to Syrian Arab News Agency, the Turkish military itself has been actively involved in all these crimes. Many historical and cultural values were transported to Turkey and sold in black markets. Today, most of the archaeological sites in the canton of Efrin in northwestern Syria are damaged. Among them are the ruins of Tal Burji, Tal Ayn Dara, Tal Genderes and Al Nabihuri. A member of the Iranian Parliament's National Security and Committee of Foreign Policy, Mahmoud Ahmadi Bigash, said that supporting Armenia should be one of the principles of foreign policy of his country. The deputy particularly said, Iran should have put aside its diplomatic decency and supported Armenia during the Artsakh War. Some parts of the Republic of Azerbaijan and the South Caucasus belong to the motherland of Iran, according to historical documents. They should be handed over to Iran in case anything happens in the future. Iran must support the process of imposing sanctions on Turkey by Europe and the United States without preconditions. Arkady Andreasian, a legendary football player of Yerevan Ararat, died today at the age of 73. According to Sputnik Armenia, Andreasian's condition got worse last night. He was taken to hospital by an ambulance where the legendary player died of heart failure. Andreasian became the USSR champion and cup winner as a member of Yerevan Ararat, won a bronze medal at the Olympic Games as a member of the USSR team. He worked for many years in Ararat as a coach. Now we present you a song Sasuni Shark by Agung. <laughs> The full version of the song is available in the official website of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.